Okay, picking up from where we left off, in the last script we managed to use the installation system of Mojo Portal to create our table guest book. And the next step, uh, of course this is, you know, you can do it differently if you want to. You don't have to do it exactly as I do. If you like using OR mappers or link to SQL or whatever, then you might not need these steps. But in the Microsoft SQL version of Mojo Portal, I support stored procedures partly for security because some environments have rules where only access to the database is through stored procedures, which can be monitored and controlled by the DBA. And, you know, it prevents rogue apps from getting, you know, access to tables that they shouldn't. You can lock it down to where you have a user that can only exec the stored procedure. So people seem to be often moving away from stored procedures today, but uh, I think they're forgetting some of the security benefits in the certain environments where it's just required. Required. So I still support it in the SQL Server data layer, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this uh, tutorial. And I'm going to move now into CodeSmith Studio. Uh, again, I told you in the previous video that we've got an old freeware version uh, available along with our source code, but I recommend you buy the new one if you can, if you don't already have it. And I've got, um, I've got uh, templates in here for generating Microsoft SQL Stored Procedures. And the way that will work is I just point it at my table. And now for here, I need to point it. I've set the scratch pad connection up. I point it at guest book. And then I just generate. And then I think of what I'm going to, you know, whether I need all of these things it may vary depending on the feature I'm building. Okay, so I definitely want to be able to delete items from the guest book. So I think we will use this one. And what I'll do is I'll go here into SQL Server, uh, new query. And, well, I could just go, I could put this straight into an upgrade script, actually. What, why bother doing that? And I could just go uh, back to our Acme projects and we set up applications, guestbook. Schema install scripts. So now we need a new folder for MS SQL. Oh, I hit one. Windows Explorer does that. Okay, jumped down here. And now, uh, you know, we started up here with version 0.0.0.1. If I open that guy up in, say, Notepad++ plus plus is what I use. And, oh, can't click where I want to. I'm trying to make everything fit. I've got my desktop adjusted for this video. So um, let me close that file we're not using. So what I'll often do is just save as, and then I'll move on to my schema upgrade scripts. And new version is going to be 2. And then, of course, I don't need a table. It's already in there but I could paste in my stored procedure for deleting. Um, now the other thing is I'm going to want to be able to delete this thing more than just individuals. If I delete the module, I want to be able to delete it as well. So I'm going to paste it in again, and then I'm going to rename, create a new one, delete by module, and then I'm going to change this to module good. Now it might be safer for some of you to do this from Query Analyzer so that you can verify if your SQL is correctly formed or if you're making any typos. Uh, I've done this a lot, so I'm going to do it without a net here, but if I run into any trouble, that's what I would do. So now we've got delete and delete by module. Um, what else are we going to need here? Well, let's see. Yeah, we might want to get count. Uh, we'll, we'll save that for later. We'll go with some of the most primary ones here, like select one. You know, if we want to edit one, we've got to select it. So we'll go ahead and grab that and we'll paste it into our oops, upgrade script and select all. Now select all, you know, this template is not all that smart, right? Um, because really I want to select all by module. So I will have to modify that one. And then, um, you know, i got to decide how I want that sorted as well. So I know I want to use a module GUID, so I'm going to grab this parameter from here. And I'm going to come down here to uh, 
select all, and I'm going to add that. Now I'm just going to say where. And, you know, some people will tell you this is the best way to do this, but it, and it is if you're creating a table where you're not always going to want to pull back all the fields in the table, then you should specify exactly what you want to bring back. Uh, but if you're pretty much always going to bring back every field, you can save yourself a little work by just changing that to select star, because later if you add a field to this table, now you don't have to update that star procedure. You're still selecting all the fields. So I'll leave that to be your own judgment, but that's what I would do in this particular case. Um, now we definitely want to be able to insert, so we're going to copy the insert procedure. And we'll just review review everything that you generate from uh, code to make sure, or from CodeSmith to make sure you agree with it. You know, uh, it's a helpful tool. It's not meant to generate completed products. It's meant to save you some time typing. Now we're also um, will we need to update? Will we let a user update? Or you know, I don't know if I've ever seen where you could update a guestbook. Do we even need that? If I was going to use it, I would definitely chop out created UTC because I don't need to update that field again. I think for now we'll skip update and we'll see if we decide we need it later. Probably we're going to want paging, but I'll save that for another tutorial. We can always come back and generate again as we need to. So let's just go with what we've got there. And let's think about our data class and our business class. Well, we got seven minutes left. Let's... Let's, or I mean, we're, we got three minutes left. Let's just run the script or uh, build again so that it can run the script again and install the, uh, the upgraded script. And in the next clip, I'll show you how to build a data access layer on top of these stored procedures. So we go back here, and again, we want to run the setup page, and we're expecting it to run script 0.0.0.2, and there it did. And so if we inspect our uh, tutorial database, we should now see under stored procedures, programmability, stored procedures, Acme. Oh, but look at I Yeah, yeah, Acme, guestbook delete, all that stuff's right in there. Okay, so um, that shows that we've upgraded, and we'll pick up in the next clip from here.